everyone i uh, thought today we'd do a quick trending tags video for popular keywords on redbubble at the moment as always i'm using the website called bubble trends it is a free tool all you have to do is sign up with your email and then you can check on trending keywords whenever you like the first few tags have few results uh, but I have absolutely no idea what those are about or there might be some copyright issues. So I want to stay away from most of those, I'd say. Uh, the first tag here that seems relatively decent would be no runway, no problem. It has fewer than 500 competitive results, not too bad could definitely just add some fun fashion related graphics to this saying and there you go you have a design copyright issues for the ones right under it relay for life potentially could do that one uh, with one of those ribbons if there are no conflicting copyright issues life is better with my grandma very sweet not uh, too many competitive results potentially something to look into yeah we've got some interesting tags for this tag review for sure M maybe family is the anchor that holds essential i'm assuming that's like essential t-shirt so that could maybe be a tag to look into you could very easily just add an anchor graphic to this phrase and have a design there. The one right below it, you tried, gold star, is actually pretty funny. You could have some fun selecting the fonts you use for this one. And of course, adding a gold star graphic to that. Moving along, did some bunny say Easter? Only a thousand results or so, not quite as many as I would expect, but maybe something to look into. Easter is now already past. I hope everyone had a happy Easter, by the way, uh, but it's never too early to start designing for next year. Once you put the designs on Redbubble, they can keep earning you money for years and years to come, so may as well get a head start, right? The one right below it, teaching is a team sport. That could be good. T-shirts and stickers seem especially popular with teachers. And although there is some competition, uh, cross-niching could definitely reduce that for you. A day without swimming is like, just kidding, I have no idea. This could be a pretty good one to go after. I think we saw this in a previous tag video. And the great thing about a tag like this is you can simply swap out the word swimming with a ton of different activities and hobbies. Right below that one, funny, you are gonna need therapy after you meet me, is also pretty humorous. And has around 1200 results or so. I would guess that that kind of tag would be a text only design without graphics but with interesting fonts continuing on dog with wig could be humorous uh to narrow that down maybe talk about the specific breed of dog with a wig and going with that method you could get a lot of different designs based around this one tag by doing a bunch of different breeds of dogs wearing wigs or perhaps some other item of clothing Right below it, weekends, coffee, and dogs. Another great one because you can swap out at least two of those uh, with other things that people really like, like tea and cats. Love makes you do crazy things. Bit more competition, maybe if you narrow it down, that would help a bit. Just a girl who loves axolotls. Surprisingly competitive. I would definitely want to do some cross-niching there to reduce that competition. Uh, but this is another one of those tags where you can just swap out the word axolotl with a bunch of different types of pets. Life is good in the garden could be one to go after. Cat lightning. Don't really know what that's about. But uh, 
I suppose that could be an interesting cat niche one to go after. However, now we are getting to the much more competitive tags with He is Risen, Good Friday, Easter Day Lover, Zoo Animals, and Mom Mother's Day with a whopping 583,000 results. So if you do decide to make designs around these specific niches or keywords, you can certainly include the tags like Easter Day Lover. However, I would definitely include a good number of other tags that do not have as many competitive results in order to increase your chances of making a sale with that design. Mother's Day and Father's Day are the next two holidays that are coming up for which people will need merch and gifts for their loved ones. So now is definitely the time to be designing for those two holidays coming up in May and June. But as much as possible, definitely try and come up with unique designs and unique tags in order to seriously improve your chances of making lots and lots of sales off of that design. Anyways, I hope you saw at least a couple of tags that you might like to design for, and here's to wishing you all the best of luck with your designing! Mm -hmm.